going to be going over the settings on this LG 1080p monitor that I just ordered. Uh, I did the unboxing video and uh, it had a lot more settings than what it shows in the description. Um, I ordered two of them and they like out of stock. So <laughs> they're out of stock right after I order them. You can still find them. I'm sure a lot of these settings are on some of the new ones. There's the back. It has two HDMI ports, one and two. Um, you do you do not have PIP channel, if anybody even still knows what that is. Um, it's got good reviews. I don't know why it disappeared all of a sudden, but we're going to switch to a black screen. Um, the button is right underneath. You cannot go under settings if you do not have an input going into it. If you don't, it just comes up with power off, input, and don't even let you do picture. So picture mode, you just dongle it down and you got photo, cinema, reader, custom. I like game. Puts a, puts a good uh, color to it. Input, and this is just a little finger knob. You're just kind of moving around. Um, it has them. You cannot, on LG TVs, you can change it and name them and all that. It does not allow you to do that. You just press to the left and then you click it in solid. Um, up powers it off. And wait a couple seconds and then you just tap it again and turn it on. Does have power saver mode. When it goes into power saver mode, I have a little thing over here that tells me how many watts it uses. Um, it uses two watts, a little over two watts sitting here doing nothing. Um, now we're going to go into the settings, which is to the right. It has a lot of settings. A lot of them you can just look up if you want to figure out what they are. Volume um, is only for your headphones, and I'll show you a little headphone jack right there. Um, I put a 100 just in case I ever do plug something in. I never see me doing that, but the brightness is very nice. Um, that's just a black image, but um, I don't know if you're really going to see it in the camera. If it was a dark room, you could probably see it. I'll put it right at 50. I don't know what I had it on before. Input. Same input list as I had before. General, or picture. I was already looking at general. Picture mode. We've already been through picture mode. Picture adjust. Your brightness. Super resolution. Um, you have to look that up yourself. Nothing is in the manual. They give you... Here's the manual over here. They give you a CD and they give you a warranty paper. Warranty, you can just look over there. There's warranty paper and setup guide. Then they give you a CD. My computer don't even take a CD anymore. So I don't know if you put it in, does it say DVD player or something? No, it doesn't say anything. So who knows about that? And that shut off. So we're gonna have to bring back the settings we're under picture and on super resolution I have it set on high just because super resolution sounds awesome so I put it on high I don't use it for gaming so I haven't really noticed a difference I've played around with it a little bit um, doesn't let me change the other stuff maybe if I put it on custom let me put it on custom see if it allows me to adjust them settings picture adjust okay so now I can do DFC I don't even know what that stands for black level let's go down to game adjust response time I have it on the fastest um, I have played Call of Duty on this the newest one and it's very pixely compared to my 4k and for this size of monitor, I think it would look a little bit better being 10, 1080p. Um, the response time, it's 60 hertz, so it isn't going to get any faster. Free Sync, I have a GeForce graphics card. And Free Sync is only supposed to be for Raiden or AMD graphics cards. Um, I don't know if they've updated that since, but if you want the Free Sync version of GeForce, you have to get G Sync. As far as I know, they may have come out with an update where they all are friends and everything works together, but I 
I don't, not that I know of, I do not think they do. Um, really, people go nuts on their monitor and your brain isn't as fast as the monitor. So to me, it doesn't even matter. There's your crosshairs. Um, I'm actually going to put one of these on, but I'm going to put on one you can actually see. I will put on the green one. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. There's dots and then there's crosses. Um, it only stays on there. It's in the middle of the screen. It only stays on there until the monitor will be restarted. And that crosshair I use all the time. Um, I'm not very good at gaming, so that helps me out all I can. For this cheap of a monitor, it's very nice that it has something like that. Here, I can shut that off. Shuts right off. And when you restart the monitor, it will not be there. Let's go down to color adjust. Got the different colors. I'm not going to mess with them. It's just like a uh, TV. And we got picture reset. I'm not going to click on that either. Do you want to reset your settings? No. That just puts it back to factory. And then under general, which is the last tab we got here, we got English. Not going to mess with it. I have energy saving on high. Consume energy by what all the big words. I have a meter on it right now. We're running 33. I'm running two monitors at the same time right now. So um, it's running 33. I'm going to lower it. 33 solid. Let's lower it to off. Now let's let it adjust itself a little bit while I go through these settings. Um, automatic standby, 8 hours. That's when it sits there. It will automatically shut off after 8 hours. Um, it does have a problem. It goes straight into energy saving, like right away. If it doesn't get a signal, like within a minute, it's in energy saving, which is fine. Um, that's what I think that is right there. Energy saving. We'll get back to it. OSD lock. Um, information will tell you how many hours I got on it within a week I already have 87 hours it's great so we shut off energy saving I'm gonna leave it just like that so it should be using more watts and we're using 32.4 to 33 so basically we're using the same amount with energy saving and on and off and this was supposed to be an energy saver monitor so between two monitors, I would say we're using about 12, 12 watts because um, I'm running it through a smart um, plug for now. And um, yeah, I'd say it's using about that much. And that is all the settings. Um, both monitors have the same exact settings, so this should help out somebody on some of the stuff that is not included on the instructions. Crosshair was not one of them. And again, I'll show you the Amazon page. Um, I searched it just straight out online, and there's one for 84 bucks. I paid 89 116 I went it brand new. And I are very, um, very nice monitor. I dropped a 2x4 on it. <laughs> and it withstood it. Um, don't know how it did that. I had a little two foot piece of two by four that fell off my bookshelf right on top of it. First week I owned it. I'm on week two now. Um, yeah, I hope that helps somebody out know that there's a little bit more to this monitor than what the description says. And right there, Raiden FreeSync means it does not work very well with a GeForce card. Me, our brains aren't as smart as what computer, or aren't as quick as what a computer can show us. You will blink in the amount of times a monitor does something. Like motion blur, you can get rid of that. But sometimes there's just stuff your brain can't keep up with how fast technology is moving. So to me, this does great, works great, great price. That's why I bought more than one. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.